I'll never forget the first star party I went to back in freshman year of high school. It was a cool, crisp November evening, and I had no idea what to expect. All I knew was that, hey, it's a star party, and I like science fiction, so why not? It was there that I saw not only the moon in extreme detail, that of which I've only ever seen before in movies like Apollo 13, but I saw Saturn and its rings with my own eyes for the first time. I remember being the young freshman that I was, just simply awestruck that I was looking at this right now, as in, it wasn't a television or a movie, it wasn't computer generated. This is the actual planet. This is something I can see with my own eyes, of course with the aid of a telescope. And ever since then I've always wanted my own telescope that could produce the same results. I started with a couple amateur scopes, costing only a hundred dollars or less, the things you would buy at a general store or even a toy store in some cases these days, but nothing really professional. It wasn't until a few years later that I bought my first decent telescope, the Nexstar 6SE. With that telescope, I photographed the Orion Nebula, the Moon, the Jupiter, issue. Saturn, and couldn't photograph but managed to see Mars for the first time in my life with my own eyes. It was a faint dot, and I could barely make anything out, but I could simply say, I am looking at the planet Mars. Unfortunately, the house fire took that away from me. It's been seven months since the fire, and I have purchased a new television, a new camera, and a few other amenities that I lost. But the telescope was something I was considering not getting because of its cost and, of course, everything else that I lost. But I've always been a firm believer that people really need to pay more attention to what's up above them and not what's in front of them all the time. I mean, come on. You can go and look at the Grand Canyon all you want, but to me... As great as it may be, and I'll appreciate it for what it is, it's just a hole in the ground, really. If you go outside right now, or if it's raining, wait till it's clear. Lay on your back and look up. Give yourself about 5-10 minutes for your eyes to adjust. Hopefully you're in an area with low light pollution from the city or any other mechanical devices, and you should see something quite beautiful. And of course, that's with your own eye. But with the aid of a telescope, you could see much, much more. And so, it was my decision tonight to spend some more of my insurance money and purchase the following telescope. Thank you for watching, and please enjoy the next video.